the seven months pregnant Duchess of Sussex celebrated the impending arrival of her first child with a lavish baby shower trip to New York, which is thought to have cost more than $500,000 £380,000. Meghan's pricey, but privately funded, party, which took place in a $75,000 a night penthouse, included a flower arranged class for guests, using a variety of blooms from Upper East Side florist Lady Fleur, and royal watchers are now being given a glimpse at the colorful creations made during the event, as well as the sprawling space where the party was thrown. Instead of sending guests home with their flowers, the 37-year-old, who is expecting her first baby with Prince Harry towards the end of April, brought in Repeat Roses, an organization which reworks flower arrangements at the end of events and then donates them to charity. While collecting the flowers from the Grand Penthouse at the Mark, the waste-reducing business shared an array of images to its Instagram account, showing workers collecting the arrangements from inside the opulent space where Meghan and her VIP guests spent Wednesday afternoon celebrating. Although much of the baby shower remains under wraps, with almost no images posted from inside the event, it appears Repeat Roses received permission to share the charitable aspects, even tagging the Mark Hotel and Meghan's party planner in its online posts. After collecting the flowers from the penthouse, Repeat Roses then delivered the remodeled bouquets to charities which included pediatric patients staying in the Ronald McDonald House Charities of New York, which described the surprise gift as a ray of sunshine. One photo of a team member collecting the flowers shows a glimpse of the stunning interior of the plush penthouse sitting room, including two $140, 107 pounds, mandarin trees, which were seen being delivered to the hotel ahead of the event, in the background. Pictures also show the beautiful bouquets, which featured Meghan's favorite pink peonies, as well as colorful roses, white poppies, red and purple tulips, roses, rhododendrons, and yellow lilies. The images of the charitable donations come after social media users hit out at the sky-high cost of the Duchess's trip, with one branding the $500,000 spent on the getaway as obscene. Meghan and Harry our patrons of charities for the disadvantaged, the Twitter user wrote. The obscene cost of this five-day trip is utter hypocrisy. Other snaps shared by the organization show children and elderly patients at different charities across the city beaming as they pose with the lavish flowers donated to them by the Duchess and her guests. Captioning the pictures, Repeat Roses wrote, We were honored to match the beautiful floral arrangements designed by the Duchess of Sussex and her guests including host Serena Williams, to a few of our very favorite NYC neighbor organizations. The gesture of kindness brought smiles and an emotional health boost to pediatric cancer patients at Ronald McDonald House New York, cancer patients at the Hope Lodge NYC and to behaviorally and medically fragile men at the Vice Avenues program. The flowers brought a ray of sunshine on a cold winter day, and will be greatly enjoyed for the week ahead. The beautiful bouquets given to the different charities were put together during the baby shower, which included a flower arranging class taught by celebrity florist Lewis Miller. Lewis, who is based on New York's Upper East Side, has worked with a number of high-end brands in the past, including Chanel, Estee Lauder, Valentino, and Victor and Rolf. He is also famous for his guerrilla flower installations known as Flower Flashes which see Lewis transforming unremarkable New York items, from trash cans to construction signs, into incredible pieces of art by covering them with stunning blooms. But on this occasion, Lewis turned his hand to smaller-scale arrangements, working with guests to help them fill their own individual vase, all of which were then passed on to charities. We all each made an individual vase, baby shower guest and TV anchor Gail King revealed. And then Megan, at her request, they got in touch with an organization I've never heard of with, Repeat Roses, and they're all donated to different charities. I thought that was a very sweet thing. The recipients of the arrangements certainly seemed delighted by the sweet gesture, with Repeat Roses documenting the delivery of each of the vases to different charities in the city on its Instagram account, where it also explained how the flowers are disposed of later on when they have died. Later, We'll return to collect flowers and vases for composting and recycling to close the loop and ensure a zero-waste experience, 
the organization detailed. Before thanking florist Lewis and party planner Jennifer Zabinski, who helped to put together the special event. The Repeat Roses post concluded, giving back to people plus planet. It's what we do, and we're so appreciative to have partnered with for this heartfelt occasion. Unlike Lewis, Repeat Roses is not a florist but rather an organization that specializes in collecting flower arrangements at the end of events to avoid waste, while also matching clients with charities they wish to donate the flowers to. The organization breaks down the arrangements and turns them into smaller bouquets to hand out to the chosen charities, with prices for its specialized services starting at $1,750, £1,340. Megan arrived for her five-night stay in New York last Friday, but kept a low profile ahead of her celebrations and is thought to have spent the weekend catching up with friends. She was first pictured in the Big Apple on Monday evening in exclusive images obtained by DailyMail.com that showed her leaving designer Mishianu's home. On Tuesday, the Duchess enjoyed a trip to the Met Brewer, lunch at the Surrey, and dinner at the Polo Bar with Serena Williams, Jessica Moroni, and Marcus Anderson. But Wednesday's baby shower, which was organized by Serena, Jessica, and Meghan's sorority sister Genevieve Hillis, was the main event of the trip. As well as the three co-hosts, guests at the shower included TV anchor Gail, Amal Clooney and Suit star Abigail Spencer, who all braved the snow in order to join Meghan in a sprawling penthouse suite at the Five Star Mark Hotel. Human rights lawyer Amal was photographed walking into the Manhattan Hotel in a bright red jumpsuit and gold heels with a black coat over her shoulder, while Jessica, whose daughter Ivy served as a bridesmaid at Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's wedding, arrived with a smile as the snow fell. Other celebrities in attendance included fashion designer Misha, makeup artist Daniel Martin, and hairstylist Serge Normand, all close friends of the Duchess. Described by the hotel as a castle in the sky, the 10,000-square-feet stunning suite boasts every luxury, including a 2,500-square-feet rooftop terrace overlooking Central Park, five bedrooms, four fireplaces, six bathrooms, two powder rooms, two wet bars, a dining room, a conservatory, and a living room that can be transformed into a full-size grand ballroom if desired by guests. Earlier in the week flowers were seen being delivered to the hotel, with a single bouquet of pink roses seen being delivered from Upper East Side florist Lady Fleur NYC, thought to be worth up to $400 £307. The donation is another thoughtful and generous gesture by the Duchess, who is passionate about reducing waste and an active advocate of various charities. On Thursday Gail King revealed on CBS This Morning that she and other guests were taught how to arrange flowers at their party, and that Markle then donated those arrangements to various charities. King's co-host Bianca Galadriga said, Meghan Markle's friends threw her a baby shower in New York yesterday, a couple of months before her due date in April. She arrived at the Upper East Side venue yesterday amid tight security. The party included some big-name guests including Amal Clooney, Serena Williams, and our very own Queen Gail King. We all each made an individual vase. And then Meghan, at her request, they got in touch with an organization I've never heard of with, Repeat Roses, and they're all donated to different charities. I thought that was a very sweet thing. King then added, it just speaks to who she is. She's kind, she's very generous. And a really really sweet person. The friends were seen arriving with bags stacked high with lavish gifts, with security guards and hotel staff helping to bring the bulkier items into the hotel. Among the gifts was a $379, £329, convertible crib by Baby Leto and a Trek bicycle worth an estimated $609.99, £470. Meghan was also seen leaving the Mark Hotel after the shower wearing an $850, £650, 18-karat gold mommy necklace by jewelry designer Jennifer Meyer, ex-wife of actor Toby Maguire. Designer Misha was seen arriving at the Mark carrying a white bag from high-end interiors liner in the Arabella, which specializes in luxury homeware, but also sells $375 cashmere baby blankets.
According to CBS This Morning anchor Gail, Meghan did not open the majority of her gifts at the event, choosing instead to wait until she returned home so that she and Prince Harry could unwrap them together. She didn't open any of the gifts because she wants to do that when she goes back to London, when she and Harry are back together, explained Gail. I don't know what everybody got. I think I got something I think is very nice. But you know, she's a very private person. I think she should decide what she wants to say about this. Meanwhile, although they did not leave with their flower arrangements, guests are thought to have been gifted with $17,225 away carry-on suitcases worth an eye-watering total of $3,825, 3,315 pounds. Following the fun celebrations, Meghan boarded a private jet back to the UK, and was seen being collected at Farnborough Airport in Hampshire in the early hours of Thursday morning. Mail Online exclusively revealed on Thursday that Amal and George Clooney had paid for the Duchess's private jet back to the UK, thought to have cost close to $125,000 1, On Monday Kensington Palace confirmed that Meghan's travel for the six-day trip had been privately funded because it was a personal getaway. Meghan's decision to fly via a private jet has also irked environmentalists because the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have both campaigned on climate change. A spokesman for Friends of the Earth told Mail Online, private air travel obviously comes with a huge carbon footprint. Perhaps for future trips the Duchess could consider less carbon-intensive modes of travel. We invite her to set a good climate trend by flying less. On their trip to Australasia last year Prince Harry said, it is going to take every single one of us to stop the clock on the destruction of our planet, and time is not on our side. The standard we walk past is the standard we accept. Self-made Meghan's successful acting career and starring role on hit legal drama Suits Mint was already worth an estimated $6.5 million, 5 million pounds, before she met Harry. Following her busy weekend of celebrations, Meghan will have a few days to rest before she departs for an official tour of Morocco with Prince Harry on Saturday.